Hello friends, this is Umesh Arora and today we will create this model in surface design. So here we have two view, one is top view and one is front view. So first of all, I will start with this circle of diameter 100. So let's start with this. Later I will join this with the blend command and I will fit this upper one portion will, I will fill it. Okay, so I am selecting a plane and creating a circle and the dimension of this circle is 100. Exit and now extrude it and 300 is a total length so enter 150 mm on first limit and mirror this extent so it will extend on both side. Right click and hide this sketch now go to the top plane sketch again and here I want a rectangle center rectangle now dimension it and the dimension is 200 by 200 so dimension it change this value to 200 see here uh, I have to cut this rectangle at 60 from the top and 60 from the bottom so I am using this break at point and click here first point select second point select first point select first point and same on the other side select line and point now dimension it this gap is 60 enter the value as 60 and same here so 60 on each side right now exit and extrude it extrude symmetrically and now I want the intersection curve so use this intersection first surface is this second surface is this okay or before this I am going to use Okay, just generate it first. Okay. Keep all sub elements. So this circle and this circle both will keep and hide this rectangle. And I want to split this with reference to this curve. The outer portion will remain. Hide this. Now hide this surface as well. And these curve are now disassemble it because if you will extrude it both curve are selecting together so I am using this disassemble and these all shell are divided into 12 shell okay and click here and hide this intersection so intersection curve will hide now I want to join this curve okay this curve by default it will create this intersection point which is the start point at 0 degree and 180 degree right so now I have four curve here and four curve here <coughs> now see this gap is uh, 200 300 100 difference so this is selected and the direction is this one and 0 and opposite side it is 50 reverse the direction right apply double click click here plane reverse okay make sure you are not selecting all the curve together select all the curves separately so that the separate surface will create
okay so this is what i have now i am going to rotate it for rotation i need an axis so i am using a point and a line along z direction and the direction is z and if you want to extend extend it otherwise the length doesn't matter and i'm using this i want to rotate this curve or this surface select this surface and the line and angle as 90 do it again curve axis okay surface axis okay and uh, curve axis okay surface axis okay and this lower one also uh, okay right just click cancel it now I want to join it I want to join it so I'm going to use this blend my first curve is this first surface is this second curve is this and second surface is this and see the preview this will come and it is tangential with each other click OK now I'm using this mirror select this and the plane is this one okay and again use this symmetric for opposite portion apply select the curve apply select apply curve apply surface middle apply surface axis apply and the upper portion select apply right so this is all I want it is all created here <coughs> only this lower one is remains so symmetric select click now I want to fill it I want to fill it so that this upper portion will create this this will come and the height is 50, 80 so 80 from the center so hide it and I am going to create a point at 80 from the origin so this is the passing point <coughs> and I am going to use this fill option and select the first curve second third curve right all this curve and see the preview so it is coming like this and the passing point is this 80 and preview but it is not properly tangential with the base surfaces so cancel it and again I am using this fill but this time first curve and first surface so support is this and it is tangential continuity second curve second support third curve third surface next curve next support next curve next support curve support curve support curve support okay and let's see the result and my passing point is this so go to passing point click and hit the okay right now it is passing through the point right now I'm going to mirror it so select it symmetry okay and okay if you want to join all this so we have this join option you can select and join all the curves go to this hide and hide all the curves so this is what I want so hope you understand this properly if you want to apply any color or any material you can go through this material okay so thank you for watching have a nice day